Yoga and relationships, relationships and yoga. So there's a story, and I think that Pema Chodron tells it, about a little girl who has a recurring nightmare. In this nightmare, she's being chased down a hallway by a bunch of monsters, and they're right behind her back, and they're breathing down her neck, and so she gets to a locked door, and she rattles it, and the monsters are right behind her, and then she wakes up. And her teacher asked her, well, what do the monsters look like? And she said, you know, I don't know. I've, I've never looked. So the next time that she had that nightmare, there she is, she's running down the hallway. She's so super scared. She gets to the door, she rattles the door, and then she thinks, wait a minute. And she turns around and she looks at the monsters. And the monsters go from being these like scary, creepy, ah, fanged things to being like, you know, kind of sad. And they start looking like her stuffed animals. And she wakes up and then she never has that dream again. So many of us have places in our lives that we stop looking. For me, for example, I used to be an actor and I was so desperate to be successful. I couldn't even watch documentaries about how films were made. It was like this crazy thing. I started walling off certain places in my life that were painful for me to look. And so I started limiting how I could experience the world and certainly limiting how I could do my career. But we all have these places that we don't want to look. Soft spots. Maybe it's like places we fear to tread with our partner in our relationships, things, conversations that feel uncomfortable, that need airing out, but will never see the light of day. Or maybe it's dreams that we once had as children, whether it was like singing or being a painter or a writer, and we're scared to even pick up a pen because of this disappointment that we feel. So we start to limit what we're able to experience. And just like that little girl, it's very helpful for us to sometimes turn around and look these things straight in the face because we might discover that once we pick up that pen and start writing, it's actually liberating. It feels different than we thought. We feel more ourselves. When we come to our yoga practice, we're frequently asked to do poses that are challenging and weird and like silly, like putting a foot behind our head or doing a handstand, like things that are challenging to us. And the point isn't to do the pose well. The point is to tread into that water that feels uncomfortable, that feels unfamiliar. So then after the yoga practice, we can go, hmm, I turned around, I looked at the monsters and I was okay. And then maybe in our lives, we can pick up the pen and write, or we can look into our partner's eyes and say the things we've been afraid to say. Turn around and look at your monsters this week and see what they really look like. That's the thought for now. See you on the mat. Thank you.